Hey, how's it going, New York Yankees fans? It is Felix from M1News.com. And guess what, Yankees fans? If you have been following this story about a young man that was stabbed to death in the Bronx, they have now captured the five other young men in that video. It was an unfortunate, tragic event, and I will leave the GoFundMe campaign for that family. So, Yankees fans, let's talk about the Yankees. Let's talk about, let's be realistic here, folks. I know a lot of people get mad and angry if people talk about Gary Sanchez. But let's be realistic here, folks. If Gary Sanchez misses a month or two, it looks like he's going to miss two months, okay? First, he has to get through that injury, then he has to rehab. So it might be two months. So realistically, Yankees fans, let's say he's really out for two months. The Yankees need to go out and replace him with another offensive player because the Yankees, as you know, see Gary Sanchez as being a contributor when it comes to RBIs and home runs. They really, The Yankees really don't care when it comes to average at this point. Just look at their lineup up and down. They care about on-base percentage, home runs, or RBIs. Okay. So we all know Austin Romine is sort of like a good replacement. He's had really a career year this year. But I don't see Austin Romine being a long-term solution. So don't get mad at me, folks. I think Gary Sanchez has really played his last game with the New York Yankees if the Yankees are going to look for a replacement for Gary Sanchez. And they might even trade for a better player or as good as Gary Sanchez in, let's say, a JT Real Motto. I know what a lot of people are going to say, oh, how would you even suggest trading Gary Sanchez? But if you can't obtain a JT Real Motto, I mean, the Yankees really are going to look for a replacement for Gary Sanchez. I hate to say this. If he's out for two months, the only logical solution is to trade for a high-end catcher because we all know Yes, Austin Romine has been having a career year, but he's not going to sustain that for a long period of time. Yes, Gary Sanchez had a low batting average, but at least he was batting for power and RBIs. And JT is a very similar player to Gary Sanchez. JT, as of now, is an all-star catcher, and he's been an all-star catcher for quite some time now. I know the, the price is going to be high with him, but if you're the Yankees, do you subtract obtaining... Instead of two starting pitchers, two aces or whatever, you subtract one, get one ace, and target a catcher. The Yankees have the pieces to do so. So, like I said, I don't want to sound like I'm hating on Gary Sanchez, but we have to think realistically. And obviously, the Yankees have to go out and add an offensive player in Gary Sanchez's absence. If the timing is two months, we're looking at Gary Sanchez and returning really in mid or late August. So, like I said, the only possible position to upgrade or replace Gary Sanchez with is catcher. You can't go out there and trade for another position player because all the positions on the New York Yankees are occupied unless you are looking at first base. But the Yankees have Brandon Jury on deck, and possibly they're going to call him up and possibly send down uh, Greg Bird or have them rotate and play that first base position. So the question now becomes, do you go after a catcher like JT Riomoto, who's on the trading block this deadline? Do you go after him? JT is said to being one of the best athletic catchers in all of Major League Baseball. He is certainly great offensively as well. So, Yankees fans, if you could have JT Riomoto over Gary Sanchez, would you do it? Certainly, the opportunity is there. And like I said, folks, it's just my opinion, okay? But the opportunity is there. I know a lot of people are going to be upset, but I'm being realistic here, folks. If Gary Sanchez is out for two months, the Yankees are going to go out and look for his replacement when it has to do with power and RBI production. So the best possible candidate out there is JT Riomato of the Miami Marlins. Hey, I'm just being realistic here, folks. When I say if Gary Sanchez possibly played his last game as a New York Yankee, with a player like JT Riomato being out there in the trade market, that might be a possibility, folks. It's not me trying to make something up. It is what it is. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. It's really unfortunate that Gary got injured, but if the Yankees do keep him, and they probably are, 
I mean, not to sound like an a-hole, but time off for Gary, he needed it. His average was never going to leave that 190 mark. It's still there. So time off, maybe we'll get him for a good playoff push. But like I said, the Yankees are in contention with the Boston Red Sox, okay? The Yankees, like I said, they are going to go out there and trade for another offensive bat to replace Gary Sanchez. It's inevitable, folks. So this is why I am throwing the idea out there. It's a strong possibility that the Yankees might look at a possible scenario like that. So, Yankees fans, like always, this has been Felix from MMYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time.